Okay, example four. The figure shows an overhead view of a raised bed built in a vegetable garden. A landscaper needs to fill the bed to a depth of two feet of soil. So again, we're looking at the top of this thing. It extends two feet downward, right? So this has depth to it, but we're just looking at the two-dimensional base of this thing. So again, they're giving me the base. How many cubic yards of soil should she order around the nearest cubic yard? You have two choices here. You can change everything to yards and work out the problem in that scenario. Uh, Four-thirds of a yard and 14 thirds of a yard, it's going to get a lot of fractions involved. The easier thing is probably to go to get the cubic feet answer and then convert to cubic yards would be my guess. So let's just, since it says how many cubic yards and they went to the trouble of italicizing yards to say, hey, by the way, you might want to be a little close to the units, right? All these are feet. Okay. We all know that one yard equals how many feet? Perfect. Okay. This is yards and feet, not cubic yards and cubic feet, so we'd have to do some cubing of things to make it work, but that's all well and good. We'll deal with that when we get to the conversion part of the problem. Okay. Cubic yards, again, we have surface area, lateral surface area volume. If we're dealing with cubic yards, which of those measurements is it? Cubic yards, we're looking for the what? Volume. Volume. And anytime it's cubic, we're looking for the volume. If it's square, it could be either total or lateral surface area. Then they're usually pretty descriptive about it. Find the, sur the surface area or find the lateral surface area. Um, so if I'm doing volume again, again, I need my area of base equals something, my height equals something, and my volume is going to equal B times H. Again, I find these two values here, and then I apply the formula. H is going to be the depth of the soil, because again, this is the base of this flower bed. We're dumping soil into it to a depth of two feet. So if you just imagine again that we're coming downward like this, and we're creating this three-dimensional shape off of this thing, like so, and then you got the stuff behind that you can't see. Something like that. So we got this three-dimensional work. They're just drawing the two-dimensional. But again, the soil goes down two feet deep, right? So as far as H is concerned, that's the two feet. Okay, everything up here is all in feet also. So once you establish that the height is whatever it is, everything else is just two-dimensional. So that, this formula allows you to get out of the whole three-dimensional part of it. Once you establish this number here, now we're just looking at this two-dimensional shape. This looks to me like a rectangle with a rectangle attached to it. So I would probably just put like a little separation there. I find the area of this rectangle, and I find the area of this rectangle, and add the two areas together. Other option, take the area of the whole big thing, is in fact this void. That's the other possibility, take the pick. I like the adding together part here because it's just two simple rectangle formulas. You do be careful though that this rectangle stops here. This is 16. This is the length of the rectangle, right? So if that's 16 feet, this is 4 feet, this must be 12 feet. All right, so for this portion here, I'm doing 12 times 4, which equals 48. For this portion here, this is the one dimension, this is the other dimension, and again, this is not the whole thing. So 14 plus 4 makes 18 feet down here. So 18 times 4 is equal to 72. This is 48 square feet. This is 72 square feet. So the area of the base is just the sum of the two areas. This area plus this area. Uh, 48 plus 72 makes 120. Right. Feel free to use a calculator to calculate if necessary. So, once we've done both these calculations, we know the area of the base, we know the height, so the volume equals BH, so volume in this case is going to be 120 square feet times 2 feet, which makes a total of 240 square feet, or sorry, cubic feet. Square feet times feet makes feet to the third.
So at this point, that's the right answer, but it's not the proper unit. As for cubic yards, we'd give them cubic feet. So the last thing to do now is do a unit conversion. And again, our fact about feet and yards is one yard equals three feet. If we compare the units in our expression here, this is feet, this is cubic feet, they don't match. So we need to make this cubic feet, which means I have to make everything cubic. So one is going to be cubed, and yards is going to be cubed, and three is going to be cubed, and feet is going to be cubed. Again, that's our fact, and that's just how we have to do it. So if I want this to be cubic, everything has to be cubic. Cubic feet cancels cubic feet. One cube doesn't matter because it just equals one. This one down here doesn't matter because it just equals one. So the only numbers that show up that aren't ones are 240 and 3 to the third power. So to get my answer, I'm going to do 240 divided by 3 to the third. And my calculus says that equals 8.88888. So, so volume equals 8.8 .8 repeating cubic yards. Uh, round to the nearest cubic yard. So if we're around the nearest cubic yard, we're going to get nine cubic yards. 8.8 .8 goes up to nine.